guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a very fun video for you guys i'm going to be showing you different goddess braid hairstyles inspired by serena from love island usa love island usa was huge this year and serena had gorgeous gorgeous um goddess braids on the show and she gave us so many different hairstyles so i decided to put some of my favorite ones together for you guys and show you how to do them they are so cute and very easy to do so yeah let's jump straight into the video Okay, so for the first style, we're just going to pull some pieces of hair out in front. Oh yes, I did these goddess braids with my own hair, so I did not use any braiding hair. I literally just um, braided my own hair and braided the curly pieces into it. I'm going to show you guys how I did it at the end of the video. But for the beginning, I'm just going to show you guys how to do the hairstyles first. So you basically do it half up, half down. And then you take the hair from that you pulled out in front and then you pull it behind your ear on the left and on the right side and use a pin to hold it. And that is how you do the first hairstyle. These hairstyles are actually very easy to do. You can do them in less than 10 minutes. And they are very gorgeous. So if you have goddess braids, goddess twists, goddess locks, and you're looking for hairstyles to kind of switch it up, these will definitely work for you. So for the second style, I'm pulling some pieces in front again. And I'm just going to keep this out of the way. Then I'm going to split my hair down the back. And then I am going to take a band and just do um, a ponytail on the left and the right side. So now the hair in front, I am just going to swoop it to the side. And then pin it down behind my ear with a um, hairpin. And then I'm going to take a band and tie the remaining end of the hair to my um, ponytail that I did before. So just the ends that are left tied into the ponytail. So this is style number two. If you want, go ahead and clean up your edges, do your baby hairs. But you guys know I do not do all the whole baby hair, cleaning up edges things. I don't have the energy for that. But if you want, definitely go ahead and do that. So for style three, I'm going to pull some hair to the front again. And then I am going to um, pull my hair up in a bun this time. So one bun on the left side, one bun on the right side. So you just basically wrap the hair around into a bun and take a hairpin and pin it down. Personally, I prefer using hairpins as opposed to bobby pins, but either one will work. And as you're wrapping the hair around, also pull out little like curls, little pieces around. It just kind of, kind of adds to the look. So now I'm just separating the curls in front, fluffing out the curls. And this is how you do style three. This is one of my favorites. Let me know which ones are you guys' favorites down below in the comment section. So for style four, again, pulling hair out in front. Now we're for the back, we're going to split it down the middle, a left and a right side. And on each side, we are going to tie some hair to the top. So basically half up, half down on each side. So you have two pigtails like that. And then we are going to swoop the hair to the side again and pin it down with a hairpin. Now I'm going to take these cute little bows that I got from my beauty supply store and I'm just going to put those um, where I put the band. And this is how you do style four. I'm just turning around so you guys can see the hairstyle from all around. This is another one of my favorites as well. Like I said, let me know which, one you, which ones you guys like down below. So for style 5, again, pulling some hair out in front. Next, we're going to do a half up, half down. So this is how it's supposed to look at the back. Take your hair band and just wrap it around. Secure it. Then we're going to swoop the hair in front to the side again, pin it with your hairpin and just fluff it out. Make sure that it looks good. So this is how you do style five. As you guys can see, these hairstyles are so easy to do and they're very, very quick. So for style six, again, pull some hair out in front and then we're just going to tie our hair up at the back. So you want to go one loop first 
twist the hairband around and go a second time but for the second time do not pull out all your hair so what should i'm doing i'm going to leave some i leave some of the ends hanging then i'm going to take those ends that are left hanging and just like move them around to frame around the bun just move them around under the band so that they basically frame around the bun and then just loosening up the hair in front and this is how you do style six i think this is six if you have any questions about any of the hairstyles please ask me down below and i'll try my best to explain so for style seven we're gonna pull out some hair um in front again and then tie all your hair up to the top of your head so like a high ponytail and then you're gonna split it into two and just wrap it around into a bun Then I'm going to take my hairpin and pin it into the bun but as you guys can see I'm leaving a little bit of the ends, the curly pieces at the ends hanging out and I'm just going to spread that around the bun. Then I am going to take the hair in front and do a side swoop again leaving some curly pieces hanging, some of the curly pieces hanging around my hair. Next I'm going to take my bow and just put it on the bun. Now Serena didn't have a, bun, a bow in her hairstyle but I just decided to put the bow since I had the bow and I thought it looked really really cute. But yeah you can do this with or without the bow. So for style 8, we're going to pull some hair out in front on the left and the right side. Leave, some, um, leave a piece, yeah a piece of the curly hair hanging out. Pull the hair behind your ear and pin it down with a bobby pin, with a hairpin, bobby pin, whatever you have. Do the same thing to the other side as you guys can see. So a middle part. And at the back, we're just going to take a band and tie both the left and the right pieces together as you guys can see. So now for the rest of the hair, we're just going to tie everything up, including the ends of the um, pieces that we pulled behind our ear just tie everything up into a high ponytail like this then we are going to do a bun so again split it into two wrap it around in the bun make sure that you leave some of the curly pieces hanging so like that now we're gonna take a black bow oh this is another one of my favorite hairstyles and just pin it at the back behind the bun and this is how it looks i'm gonna turn around so you guys will see this is another one of my favorite ones i really really like this one again feel free to clean up your edges do whatever you like to do so for the last and final one this is the famous claw clip one so you're gonna pull out three pieces on each side in front then do a half up half down take a um claw clip or oh, actually no tie it up with a band first then take your claw clip at the back roll the hair and secure it with the claw clip and just pull it back and then um spread around the hair at the top um just like move it around so that it frames your face arrange it so it looks good and this is how you do style nine so these hairstyles are my favorite ones that Serena gave us. Honestly, she gave us so many hairstyles that I could do three different versions of this video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below and let me know which ones are your favorite ones. So now let me show you guys how I actually did the goddess braids. I'm using hair from Eon Hair. They are human bulk hair, 20 inch, water wave, natural color. So this is what it looks like right out of the pack. As you guys can see, the hair is defined. The curl pattern is uniform up until the ends. It's not one of those ones where it's curly in the body and then the ends are straight and just raggedy. Now this one is processed really, really well. So when you open up the bundle, you have little pieces like this. And I advise that you take some mousse and use it to seal the end of the, um, the top part of the hair. It just keeps everything in place when you're separating the hair into smaller pieces. So you want to go ahead and separate that into small pieces about... Um, three to four pieces and again use mousse to seal the top part of the hair it just keeps everything in place and makes it much easier especially when you're braiding it into your hair so you want to go ahead and prepare um little pieces like this that you are going to be braiding into your hair so as you guys can see i've done most of my head and i'm just going to show you guys what i do with the front 
and I actually really really liked how it was coming out I just started to do a little experiment trying this with my own hair as opposed to using braiding hair and I really really like how it looked so as you guys can see my hair is already sectioned at the roots so basically what you want to do is that you take the little pieces that you prepared again like I said use mousse to secure the end and you just simply braid it into your hair as you braid you want to pull the um the curly piece out of the way and then keep braiding so yes if you're trying to do the whole knotless look and you do not know how to do it you can simply just braid your own hair there will be no knots at the roots so now i'm going ahead to add another piece again you add the piece in put it out of the way and keep braiding I did about five yeah five um, pieces per braid so again I'm adding another piece in braid it into my hair pull the end out of the way the curly piece pull it out of the way you can also use a hair clip to hold the curly piece out of the way if you want but I was lazy so I just literally wrapped it around my bone and you want to keep doing that up until you get to the end like i said if you have any questions please ask me down below and i'll try my best to explain but you're just simply braiding these curly pieces into your natural hair and that is why i said it's best to prepare a lot of the pieces first before you actually start braiding so you can just literally pick them up as you go you don't have to stop the braid go prepare the piece then come back that's just a lot of work so yes when you get to the end you're gonna do the same thing adding the hair but when you get to a point where your hair is like literally at the end and you can't braid anymore you can just simply twist your hair into the curly piece that's what i'm doing right now i'm just twisting everything together and this is how it looks at the end so i am done doing one section and this is how it looks So I'm just doing the same thing again, braiding my roots, then put in the curly piece. So you're going to put in the end that we sealed with mousse. Put that piece into your hair, braid it into your hair, then um, pull the curly piece aside and keep braiding. And then grab another piece. Braid in the end that we sealed with mousse, braid that into your hair and pull away and um, put the rest of the curly hair out of the way and keep braiding and just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again again please if you have any questions ask me down below this hair was actually very very easy to work with nice quality hair very very soft and because i guess because i didn't use any extra braiding hair the hairstyle felt super light on my hair it was like there was nothing on my hair at all it was just very very light and airy and also made it easier for me to style because it was literally like i was styling my own braids so yeah so yeah it looks very full very gorgeous especially if you use a lot of the curly hair but if you're worried about the weight of the hairstyle i'm telling you this is literally one of the lightest hairstyles i've ever done As you can see the curls in the hair really really hold but if you want a more defined look you can definitely go ahead and use mousse when you're done but yeah i was able to keep my hair like this without even using mousse for a while for at least four or five days before i decided to use mousse and define the curls oh i was so happy and exhausted when i was done <laughs> but yeah i really really love how this turned out i wasn't expecting to turn out this nice but i absolutely love this i think i'm gonna add this to the list of my vacation hairstyle looks i absolutely love this so this is the final look as you guys can see the hairstyle is very beautiful i already showed you guys different styling options in the beginning of the video let me know what you guys think down below like i said the hair is from eon hair i'm going to put the information for where you can get the hair down below in the description box so please make sure you check that out the hair is very very long 
Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let me know your favorite hairstyles out of the one you showed you guys. I showed you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below on my face on the screen. Also, do not forget to watch my other natural hair videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.